Short Hops! The bread and butter of most characters' neutral, combos, and confirming kills. You're gonna wanna master this. What's up guys, Blitz here today bringing another video. Today we're gonna be talking about the Short Hop, one of the main things you're gonna wanna master if you wanna win more games. Almost universally, Short Hops are the gateway to applying pressure, converting combos, and sometimes confirming kills. Some characters have aerial attacks with amazing hitboxes that sometimes beat out or takes priority out of other characters' aerials. Sometimes at higher percents, these same aerials can be used during full jumps to get kills or even edge guard. However, in Smash Bros, as many of you guys already know, you can shorten the height of your full jump, making your aerials able to hit grounded opponents. This adds another element of pressure and opens many doors to combo routes and interesting ways to net some kills. In Smash Ultimate, they made aerial attacks even better by universally lowering the landing lag after using air attack from all characters. However, there is one slight change that they made to this mechanic that is entirely new to Smash Bros. Ultimate, which we're gonna get into in a few. There are many characters in Smash that don't get a lot of mileage from their dash attack. Falco is one of them. His dash attack knocks opponents away too far to follow up with a combo, and he also he is not that fast to chase them in the air before the hit stun goes away. In Smash Bros., while you're in the air, you have access to different aerial moves such as neutral air, down air, back air, forward air, and up air. For Falco, if you're falling and you use a neutral air and it hits your opponent, you can cancel the final hit into an up tilt, creating a combo. At lower percents, you can initiate this juggle with other moves such as back air. But a full jump is not the way we want to start these combos. We want to approach and start these combos from a short hop. And in Smash Bros, we short hop by slightly tapping either X, Y, or the left analog stick. The same aerial attack rules apply here also. You can throw out a directional attack while short hop. Doing this makes approaching opponents faster and is a more efficient way to start combos. These are just examples of what you can get going from using different aerials as Falco through a short hop. Definitely practice this and do your best to space these aerials on or from your opponent's shield to try to stay safe. You don't want to get into a bad habit and keep down airing your opponent's shield which if they block it they can grab or punish you pretty heavily. Now that that's been said, I know a lot of players including myself find that short hopping in Smash Ultimate requires a stricter timing than it did in Smash 4. If you tap the jump button even slightly longer than required, you will always full hop, which is something we do not want. I think the creators knew that whatever changes they made to this game's engine somehow altered the short hop frame window, which is why they added this entirely new mechanic in Smash Bros Ultimate, where if you press the attack button while also pressing a jump button like X, you will always short hop an aerial. Also, if you hold the direction with the left stick while tapping both X and A, you will short hop that direction's aerial attack. Right here, I'm just holding up and tapping X and A at the same time to throw out up airs. And this even works with down air. If you hold down and you tap X and A, you can do short hop down airs over and over again per each press. The same can be done with back air and of course forward air. Now with this mechanic and depending on which character you're using, you can space forward airs easier and pull back from your opponent's shield to create space and remain safe. Aside from all the pros, there are some cons. Because of the way this mechanic works, all of your aerials coming out or rising aerials, which for some characters is very good, while others it's not so great. That falling near combo confirm I showed you earlier cannot be done with pressing X and A because we need to cancel that last hit with landing. And since we are rising during the short hop attack, this will not let it cancel. It will finish the entire animation for Falco every single time. But I encourage all of you guys to find ways to implement both short hops into your game. Both can be very useful in different situations, so make sure you alternate between the two depending on what that is. This is just a beautiful kill combo that can be done from the middle of Final Destination by using a regular short hop into a falling neutral air. On battlefield stages, you can use the X and A short hop mechanic to harass and pressure your opponents above you on the platform. This is very valuable in this game compared to Smash 4 because now it's a lot harder to get off platforms and you cannot shield drop. At early percent, Falco's neutral air can actually knock them onto the other side of the platform and create a tech chase situation where you have to guess or punish their missed tech. It can also lead to an early kill sometimes. I use Falco a lot in this explanation because it's who I'm most comfortable with at the moment, but I guarantee you guys there are lots of characters with better uses for this than him. This is just a short example of what kind of neutral combos you can do with sword characters. Krom, Roy, and I believe Marcina can string together neutral airs, just excuse me because I'm pretty shit at it. Characters like Ivysaur can benefit greatly off of the X and A mechanic because he can basically create a wall in the neutral that keeps opponents out with the correct spacing. All while retreating and keeping a safe distance and not only does this work well with his forward air, he can also space his back airs just as well too. And I think it has more range than his forward air but I'm not too sure. Pokemon Trainer is just too much fun and the uses for this does not stop right there. And once you get used to the timing, Ivysaur's down air's broken hitbox can be fully taken advantage of, especially when opponents are offstage trying to recover. X and A short hopping takes some time getting used to it here, but it's worth it in the long run to improve your game as a Pokemon trainer. Squirtle's forward airs benefit greatly from this too because you can create a wall and juggle your opponents thanks to his fast speed and forward air's hitbox coverage. Pokemon trainer is too fun of a character to ignore, I'm definitely considering learning them to use as my secondary. 
And to wrap things up guys, here's some clips on how I use the short hopping mechanic to harass and pressure opponents on platforms. I highly recommend practicing the regular short hopping with X or Y for hours because it really takes some serious muscle memory to get used to it, especially if you're coming from Smash Bros 4. I wish it wasn't changed at all, but there was a, there must have been a big reason behind it for them to create an entire mechanic that helps us do it a little bit easier. It just sucks that it greatly benefits rising aerial attacks rather than falling aerials. Characters like Falco and Greninja have amazing falling aerial combo setups. But no crying about it because we gotta get into the lab and just adapt. Let me know in the comments below if you guys enjoyed the video or if you have any other questions. As always, I don't mind giving you guys extra pointers and helping you guys out and understanding things a little bit more. That's what I'm here for. And as always, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new. Those of you guys who are new to the channel, welcome. We're glad to have you guys here. Be sure to stay tuned for more videos on Smash Bros. More tips and tech guide videos are coming your way soon. You won't want to miss that. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.